Kevin Means, thank you for coming out. Um, whenever I smell coffee breath, it just reminds me of AA meetings. <laughs> Sometimes people don't laugh at that joke and I say, don't worry, one day you will. <laughs> Life just hasn't caught up with you yet. <laughs> Recently, I was helping my friend uh, fix up this older home that he had bought, and after doing like the roof, the carpet, I just had one question. Who thought wallpaper was a good idea? Like, <laughs> who put up all this ugly wallpaper in every single house in America that we now have to tear down? <laughs> like, I swear, my parents and my grandparents put up wallpaper just to prank the millennials. <laughs> taking this down in 40 years, <laughs> Who's building a house in like the 80s or the 60s? Like, yeah, we think we're gonna paint the kitchen, you know, sky blue, eggshell white. I have an idea, <laughs> Why don't we put a giant sticker on the wall? Would <laughs> that look pretty? Just a bunch of diagonal roses throughout your kitchen. <laughs> That's all I remember from the 90s, is diagonal roses in my house. Like, they could have just drew on the wall with Sharpie. <laughs> you can paint over Sharpie. You can't paint over wallpaper. Well, you can, and you did, and that's what we're dealing with. <laughs>
Gas stations are like playgrounds for creepy adults. <laughs> More noteworthy than that, there's a lot of people hanging out at gas stations that don't own a vehicle. <laughs> Why are you here for so long every single day of the week? Like, what are you doing here at this gas station? And then the people that do go to a gas station, you know, with a vehicle, nobody plays music louder than when they're at a gas station. Like, no one, well, bro, I'm turning into this gas station at this grocery store. Better blare the shittiest rap music these people have ever heard. <laughs> Yeah, everyone needs to know this. There's so much like loud, shitty music at gas stations. BP's gonna change its name from British Petroleum to Bumpin' and Pumpin'. <laughs> that is what they are doing at the gas stations. It's, it's absolutely madness. Um, but I can't judge, I can't call people out on so I In my life, I've struggled with, with addiction. I have. Uh, my drug of choice was always chapstick. Uh, <laughs> I love chapstick. I need your first step to recovery is just to admit that you're an addict. I am a chapstick addict. I love chapstick. Like, you know, I'm fiending for some chapstick. My lips get all dry and cracky, and it just looks like I have a permanent Kool Aid stain around my mouth. <laughs> uh, I need to get some chapstick. Like, when I put on chapstick, I don't dab it on my lips. I make out with the bottom. Oh, <laughs> oh keep it coming. Someone pulls out a bottle of Burt's Bees, I have an orgasm. <laughs> Burt's Bees is the OG Kush dank of Jack. <laughs> you got the pomegranate cherry? Like, damn. Can I get a hit? How much for an eighth? I need that. <laughs> one of my friends and he told me he had, he had a one night stand with this girl and he's like yeah whenever I'm in a one night stand situation like I can never stay the night at the girl's house like I always have to go home to my own bed I'm like all right yeah I get that I understand that but not me not me ladies when you bring me over for <laughs> intimacy you got me to the a.m. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere I'm staying the night at your house all right <laughs> What type of cereal do you have? You better have whole milk. <laughs> and the reason, the reason why I like to stay the night at a girl's house, oh, oh, you ever slept in a woman's bed? It's so nice in there. <laughs> I am a dirty peasant jester, and I get to sleep where the queen sleeps. <laughs> this is so nice. You ever, you, ever, you ever smell the woman's sheets? It smells like cinnamon covered strawberry. <laughs> I don't know how they do it. I don't know how women make their sheets smell so good. I think they wash them. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's how they do it. Whenever I just cozy up in a girl's bed, I'm like, oh my, this is so nice. Like the ladies don't have Blankets. They don't have blankets. They have three inch thick comforters in there. Oh my god. It's like laying in a hot deep dish pizza. <laughs> like every blanket is just a layer of cheese. Extra cheese. Pepperoni sauce. Oh. But I think about my bed. Like, hell no, I'm not going to drive home half drunk to my shitty mattress. My shitty mattress is like a cold, thin crust pizza. <laughs> it's an extra topping of cum on it. All right? <laughs> 